So far, we've examined electric fields and the behavior of electricity in a circuit. Now let's move on and look at magnets. The phenomenon we call magnetism is very interesting and, as you'll learn later, is very closely linked to electricity. This is a typical bar magnet. It has two letters, S and N, on it. What are they doing there? You may already know that a magnet has two opposing poles, north and south. These poles determine what magnets do around other objects. This one is called a permanent magnet because the poles never disappear or switch around. It always looks like this. As the old saying goes, opposites attract. Here the south pole of one magnet is facing the north pole of the other. South is the opposite of north, so the two feel an attractive force. I don't mean attractive as in good looking, they just get very close together. We say there's a force between the magnets which brings them together, but what if you take one magnet and switch it around? Now the south poles are facing each other. Does this make a difference? It sure does. While opposite poles attract, like poles repel. The magnets push each other apart like this. Now it's a repulsive force that comes between them. Not repulsive as in disgusting, the magnets just don't want to be near each other. This also happens when you put the north pole of one magnet against the north pole of the other. Again, they repel. Why does this happen? Well, each magnet has something called a magnetic field around it. The field is invisible to us, but we can draw it in two dimensions using tiny pieces of metal. Your teacher probably has a jar of iron filings somewhere in their classroom. These are minuscule fragments of iron that can be sprinkled over a flat surface like a piece of paper. At first, the filings look pretty random. But place a magnet on the paper and this happens. The filings reorganize themselves into a distinctive shape. They sort of curve around the magnet in a series of ovals. What is going on? Well, the field around the magnet has this shape and we draw it as a bunch of curves. When the iron filings are shaken a little, they reorient themselves and line up with this magnetic field. This is how we see the invisible. Electric fields have a direction. They go from positive to negative charges. Magnetic fields are the same. They have a direction. We draw arrowheads on the field lines and they go from north to south. Imagine the lines coming out of the north pole, curving around as shown and finally entering the south pole. Also take note of the spacing between the lines. The closer the spacing, the stronger the magnetic force they generate. So a magnet has the strongest pull at its ends. Any magnetic object shows this pattern. In fact, our whole planet acts like a giant bar magnet. A planet like the Earth has a molten outer core, a place where hot metallic liquid flows and generates magnetism. It creates a magnetic field like this. But surely there's a mistake. Isn't the North Pole supposed to be at the top? The North Geographic Pole, yes. But there's a big misconception when it comes to telling North from South. If you have a compass like this, it has a needle that reacts to the Earth's field. The North Pole of your compass is attracted to the South Pole of the Earth, that is, the South Magnetic Pole. This is a spot somewhere in the Arctic that people call the North Geographic Pole, because that's how it's marked on maps. It's the interaction of the field lines that dictates how two magnets behave. Opposing poles attract because the magnetic field lines from one pole go into the other and create a force. The two magnetic fields involved point the same way, so they add up. When one magnet is reversed, so two like poles are facing each other, the magnetic fields point in opposite directions. This is what creates the repulsive force that pushes them apart. Usually one magnet will flip around so the opposite poles line up, then the magnets get stuck together. That's enough for now. Try out the following list on magnetic fields, then we can move on to electromagnetism, the fascinating relationship between electricity and magnetism. Thanks for watching.